While most teams in the area were still playing non-conference games, the North Shore Conference was already into league play. Cedarburg came into this game 1-0, while Whitefish Bay was playing its season opener. The Blue Dukes always seem to be in the upper half of the North Shore. They went 16-10 overall last season. Cedarburg has just about everyone back from last year's 20-win campaign and is considered the favorite to win the league. One, two, three, go! Junior guard John Diener is one of the reasons for that. Diener gets his man in the air, then pulls up and connects on the mid-range jumper. When Diener wasn't scoring for the Bulldogs, senior Jordan Johnson was. Here's Johnson for three. He would go on to have a big night. Moments later, it's John Diener slicing between defenders into the lane and dropping it home. On the far end, it's Whitefish Bay sophomore Andrew Gaeta spinning towards the basket, off the window and in. The Bulldogs try to run here, but David Thompson steps into the passing lane. He'll take it all the way to the hoop and finish. Later, Cedarburg takes advantage of a turnover. Jordan Johnson picks up the loose ball and check out the move. Two plus the foul. Bulldogs lead by 10 at the half. Second stanza, how about the pass here from Matthew Barber to a cutting Clayton Van Tassel. The lead is now up to 13. The Blue Dukes try to keep pace. David Thompson with the nifty dribble to get himself free. Thompson scored 10, while Xavier Johnson led the Blue Dukes with 16. A little later, it's Tommy Vellon with the leaner, tough shot, and he puts it down. Nicely done. But coach Tom Diener's Bulldogs are in control late, and they're discussing how to finish this one off. His son John uses the jump stop and puts in two of his 21 points. Finally, it's Jordan Johnson with the hesitation, then around the defender, Johnson scored 31. Lots of varsity experience pays off as Cedarburg rolls 76-51 in their North Shore Conference opener. I've had a lot of these kids now going on their fourth year. Jordan Johnson uh, you know, played for me when he was a freshman. Jared Short, uh, Clay Van Tassel, this is their fourth year with me. And actually that's what we just were talking about in there is you know, the, the fact that how far they've come from a maturity standpoint, from a strength standpoint, and um, how good they've become. The site is Milwaukee South High School for the annual Terry Porter Classic. The hosts, Milwaukee South, take on Greendale Martin Luther Spartans from the Metro Classic Conference. The Spartan defense got it going early. Ace Evans gets the steal and feeds it up to Spartan sophomore Traquan Carrington as he finishes. Spartans almost get the steal here, but South senior Raymond Dillard fights for the ball and has a clear runway to take off for the easy lay-in. South down four. Traquan Harrington got the O going for the Spartans, hitting this jump shot on his way to a game-high 28 points on the night. Milwaukee South senior Chris Ibles led the team with 19 points, showed some great ball handling skills in the game. Here drives for the short jumper. The Spartan defense forces another steal and Carrington taps the ball to Ariel Cortez and breaks up court for the uncontested layup. Martin Luther goes into half up 36-23. Now in the second half, the Spartans' Kai Anthony Blake penetrates the paint, breaks the double team and passes the teammate Sean Harrison for the jumper. Next play, Ace Evans gets the steal, gets it to the hot-handed Carrington for the three ball. Spartans' lead increases to 16, timeout South. Out of the timeout, South wasn't going down without a fight. Here, JoJo Keith would get hot, hitting this jumper. Cardinals cutting into the lead. South's offense now on a roll, feeling confident, starts to work the ball inside to the big man, senior Dante Ellis, as he uses his wide frame to fend off three defenders for the layup. South has cut the lead down to four points, 48-44. But down the stretch, the Spartans would control the clock, make the free throws, finish off their drives, and come away with the victory, 63-57, Martin Luther. I thought we played with a lot of energy in the first half, and we got, uh, defensively, we got some tips and some easy bus buckets, and we made some, some, some three-pointers. And, and so, I mean, it's South's home court, it's their event. I, we talked in the locker room that it's they're not going to go away. They're they're mostly they start four seniors, we start three or four sophomores. So we, we knew it was going to be a game in the second half, and I, I'm glad I, they they cut it to four. I thought our guys did a nice job of holding on and knocking down some free throws and making some shots down the stretch. 